Good, do it again. Somebody might as well break the target. Should I press it again? It didn't go. Pull the bolt back just a hair. Pull back a little. Let go. There you go. Pull. Get it on the other side. That's all right. The target was thrown way out of way way out of whack. What's left in the box? Two. Good. Don't shake them. Just put them in and close the bolt. Pull back a little, let go. Good. Pull. Don't think about it. Good. One last one. Two more. Pull. Yeah, you could see that one. Hi, Kelly, I would say The gun has to be going right to left. If it's not, when the target, when you fire the gun, the shot column can't move another three feet, which is really where it needs, you know, out there, it needs to move over. So, so put the gun on the left edge of this target and just follow the target and pull the trigger when it feels right. Okay. Pull. Cool. Reload. Gotta think a lot. Don't think. Just stare at the target, move the gun to the left side of the target, keep that, keep the gun moving, squeeze the trigger. What can't you see? I can't, I can't even see the target. I didn't throw it, you didn't say pull. Yeah. Kinda helps. Pull. Just like that. Broke the target. Clip the back edge and a little bit on the top. So you wanna be a little bit lower and a little bit more onto the left-hand side. Yeah. Pull. So you're trying to trap that target. Like you're doing your best not to move the gun. You let it come to you. You can get away with that on here. But other stations, and maybe that's a bit your bigger problem is the gun isn't moving after the no. shot. There's a spot at which this target's coming right at you, but it's far away. And, and most people like want to get it closer. But as the target gets closer, it's starting to move more right to left. So you can kill it in the sweet spot directly in front of you, or you make got to make sure you're at like eight o'clock when you pull the trigger. Yes. Meaning it's at the center of the clock, and you're at number eight, at the at the eight because yes. you got to be slightly below it and um and and to the and to the left. I get it. Or just as it's literally as it's coming over that hump, yeah, it's coming right at you, yeah, directly under it and pull the trigger. Meaning at at three at six o'clock. 
Fire at six o'clock just below the target. Whoa. Got to move the gun. Your I, gun just. I just don't move the gun. No, you, and that's and that's what that's a thing that most people learning to shoot trap and ski and the sporting clays they don't move the gun. They don't move the, the gun. The gun is in motion because the target's in motion. Good, okay, same thing. Let it get over to the where it is and shoot at eight o'clock. Make sure the gun's at the eight o'clock position on the clock when you fire the gun. Pull. Get in front. The target's moving faster than the gun. It's like you're. It's it, it's it's a. It's a thing that new shooters do. Okay, reload. And the waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting doesn't help. Sometimes, like when you have it, kill it. Don't hesitate. Oh. Mm -mm. You broke it twice, now you're missing. Because now you're thinking. Don't think. Move the gun to the 8 o'clock position on the target. Pull the trigger. Keep the gun moving. Pull. Gun's just standing there still. Two more. I'm just... You're thinking now. Yeah, your head's in the way. I'm thinking. I'm thinking way too much. Thinking and shooting, unfortunately, don't work. And you're trying to... You're trying... You're... Tell me if I'm wrong. You're, you're sometimes you're looking at the end of the barrel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when you do that, the barrel slows down. Okay. Because you're staring at it, so yeah. your eyes make it stop. Don't stare at the gun. The gun, honestly, I was. This is about the station where I, I borrowed a gun. I was on station 1340. Someone's over here. When I realized there was no front sight on the gun. Right. But I didn't notice it on the entire length of it. class. So I, I said to him, I said, "You know the front sight's broken." He goes, "Yeah, I know." He says, you don't need it. I go, I know. He goes, when did you notice? I go, like 13 or 14. He goes, so you didn't, you didn't need, I know. I said, I just happened to notice it was broken. So stop looking at the front sight okay. and move the gun and the target together. Right. Pull. Stationary gun. Last one. Pull. Same thing. Pull. You waited too long. Yeah, I waited. It's all right. Don't wait that long. Okay. Keep going. Good. Find this one again. Right when it's crossing that B, you should be you should be right in the sweet spot. Okay. Pull. Now. Nope. Got to get in front. Sorry, my arms are getting so tired. A little bit more in front. You're behind. One more time. Okay. Hang on one second. There you go. Make it a good one. Lean okay. forward. My arms hurt so much. That's okay. I think I need a break. <laughs> Lean forward. Last one. Make it a good one. Wait, can I this? I feel like it's like jabbing me. Right there. Pull the gun in. Grab the gun and pull it. Exactly. Face down. Good. Stare over the B. Good. Right pull. there. Fatigue. Is that too late? Um, well, one is you're out of you're out of balance. You're kind of like 
and the gun was in the wrong position. So you want to start the gun probably between that B and the rock, that big rock. Okay. And then when you see the target, lift up, find the target with the barrel, move slightly below and to the left and pull the trigger. By that time, it should be just crossing that B. Just like that. Yeah, you can get hit with pieces. Yeah. Th this target, this target, you can see there's pieces on the ground. They, they fly back. With authority. That's the sweet spot right there. She's pretty straight just before she makes the big turn and bleed off energy. Lean forward. Pull. It's okay. One more. Actually, you know what? Okay, put that one in, close it. Good. Rotate the gun over and put a second round in the gun so it reloads itself. Turn the gun upside down. Okay. Good. Stick one round. You're gonna hit the black button first and then shove that that yeah with the with the end of the shell. Push the black push the black button down. Black button down first. This? Yep, with the shell. Push it down so you can get Alright, that works. Push it in. Good, let it go. Good, all right, you're gonna get two of those. So now the first, when you fire the gun the first time, the second target's gonna be launched, so you're gonna wanna bring the gun back a little bit so that you make the same move twice, you understand? So I say pull twice? No, you're gonna get two targets. One gonna fire after you fire the gun. The second one will go after you get the gun. So you break the first target, but the gun's gonna be way over here. So you wanna just bring the gun back and do the same thing, match the speed of the target. This is for a pair. Pull. Here she comes. Pull. No, we did the same thing. We need to start the gun more to the left, so we don't have to move the gun so much. Good, load it up. Start it more to the left. That's right. We want to be. We want to be closer to the break point. Meaning where the target, we want to break the target. If we start way over by the target, we have to move all of that distance. Oh, so we, we want to move okay. short. We want to move inches of the muzzle as opposed to feet. Got it, okay. So put the muzzle over the top, middle of the top of this bush. Okay. Oh, like here? Right here, cool. All right. Pull. So when you Bring the muzzle up to the target, and then you lower the muzzle so you can look at the target again. No good. When you when you brought the muzzle up to the target, fire the gun. You went like this. You went, and the muzzle stopped because you either looked at the barrel or you decided to think about it. Maybe you want to look at the target, but I do that every time. Don't think. <laughs> Move the gun to the target and pull the trigger. Okay. The way I moved it to the you were, you were, you had it and then you let it go. Okay. So in that second, in that quarter second where you decided to think about it, you lost the target because the mu the target keeps moving but the muzzle stops. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Yep. All right. Pull. Good. That was a good move. Want to be a little bit more on the left hand side. Just past that target. Good. Do it again. You, the muzzle kind of stops when you pull the trigger. It's okay. 
We've got to keep the muzzle moving. Pull. There you go. Good. Take a big deep breath. I'm getting so fatigued. One, one, one more. You got it, Kirsten, just like that. Just like that. We say we pay we pay homage to the gods. Thank you very much for allowing me to break one target tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks. There you go. But we got it on video, so that's good. Yay! Pull. There we go. Now we got two. Good. Well done. It's the iPad. Yes. There it is. Two more. Want to shoot a pair? No. Wow. Okay. I'm just happy to be making contact. Pull. Yes! Nice. Pull. Yeah, you're seeing it now. So move the, put the gun on the left, right hand side of that A because that's where the target's coming from. Pull. Okay, when I say put it on the right hand side of that A, that means the gun barrel is on the right hand side of the number A, which is in front of you. You still have the gun on the left, so you have to make that big move. Oh. If the gun is already on the left, right hand side, then you're just lifting the gun up to the target. This must be that right and left thing. I get that confused too. So like there? Yeah, because that's where the target's going. Yeah. Pull. You see how you didn't have to move the gun? Yeah. See, like, the, the target comes to the gun, you match the speed, you pull the trigger. Yeah. Good. Put two in. You're gonna get two of them. Okay. One after you pull the trigger on the first one. Pull. Very nice. Thanks. Pull to the target. And when you're right behind it and slightly underneath it, fire the gun. Okay. Pull. Never move the gun. Start the gun a little lower. So we're moving the gun up. Just like that. There you go. Did that break? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You're like so surprised. Like, did it didn't break? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell if it's the like, shell part. Like, oh no, when, it, oh. When, when you see fragments go going in different directions, that's a broken target. Pull. All right, just drop the gun down a little. Move it over, move it over to the right a little. Like Good, that? right there. Pull. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Another one? It's up to you, yeah. Okay, I'll do one more. Yeah. You want to shoot a pair? Yeah. Good. Okay, wait. I think That's I right. to do it. Put one, yeah, and then just... And then just like... Oh, you can... Yeah, it's got to get hit that button first. Use your thumb. Push. Now. Is that... Good. That's it. We're loaded. Now. Do not worry about the second target because it doesn't launch until you fire it on the first one. So break the first target. Now, the gun is already going to be at the break point. The target's going to be coming up underneath. So when you fire the gun, just drop the gun slightly so that you're not above where you need to be, so that you're coming back up. So you're going to lift the gun, bang, drop the gun slightly, wait for the target, lift the gun up behind it, and fire the second round. Wait, and that's all the way back in? Yeah, okay. you're good. Yeah. Okay, no better than that. Did both of them break? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they, they both broke. All right, cool. All right, good. So over the top of the A. Slightly to the, move the gun slightly to the, to the right. Good, right there. Pull. It looked good. Okay. Same thing. Pull. You're underneath and slightly to the right. Sometimes it, it pops out. Yeah, it it's it's the it's the cartridges, it's the shells, and the, the there's a little bit of texture inside that chamber. I you can feel the ripples. It's it's wedging itself. Pull. I'm sorry, got a quiet in here. You pull. Move the gun slightly to the left. You're too far to the right. So this way, when you're bringing the gun up, you're coming up the same direction as the target. No, no, no. Move the gun to the left. Good, right there. Whoa. Underneath, you stop the gun. I do that, Tim. Yeah, you gotta stop stopping the gun. I stop the gun. I if you just keep lifting the gun, the target will break. And this is a target that because it's coming from underneath us, we have to swing through it. So. When we fire the gun, we shouldn't see the target anymore. Eventually the target, but if you keep, if you maintain a visual on the target, you're underneath. That's what happened. Just swing past it. Pull. No, you just, you, you just Wild. get to the target, fire, and just keep, just, just keep moving the gun. We can't move twice as fast as the target. We want to move slightly faster than the target. Don't think. Just move the gun to the target, pull the trigger, keep the gun moving. Pull. Yeah, just like that. And then you made, at the end, you made this gigantic move to move the gun out of the way. Like, just stay right there. Literally follow the target right to the ground. Two more. Two more will go. All right, good. No issues. What's up, Pete? Pull. Perfect. Stop moving the gun out of position. Just, the, you're moving the gun off to the right, and the yeah. target, if, if the target were to miss, you should still be going up. Whoa. Yeah, that, I don't know what, what you're doing with that. I'm Do good. two more. I'm out. Huh? I'm, I'm good, I'm out. We're, we're, out we're out of ammo. We're not out of ammo, we've got plenty of ammo. No, we're good. You're good? Yeah, we're good.